What's going on YouTube? Today we'll be showing you how to update the nav data with the latest AirRack cycle for X-Plane 11 and any add-ons you might have. A new AirRack cycle is released every month and a good indication that you are not using the latest cycle is when you see a message on your plane's FMC nav data out of date. If you already have a subscription to Navigraph's FMS data, use the time jump in the description to skip this next part. To stay up to date on this, you will need to purchase a subscription from Navigraph. If you have X-Plane open, now is a good time to close it. Head over to Navigraph's site, the link will be in the description. In the header, click Products, then in the sidebar, you should see Purchase Subscription. Click on that. Now Navigraph offers three different subscriptions, but for this to work, you will need to purchase either the Ultimate subscription or the FMS data. The Ultimate subscription includes not only the FMS data needed, but also Navigraph charts, which I personally use every flight. This is the only subscription that offers a monthly payment option as well. It will cost you eight euro and 30 cents, or for people like myself in the US, nine dollars and five cents per month. Alternatively, you can just purchase a one year subscription for either of those and save around 25 up to 30 bucks in the long run. If you're not looking to have the charts, at least by the FMS data, for uh, 25 euro or roughly 30 bucks. Once you've purchased your subscription and gotten logged into Navigraph, on the sidebar click Data Manager. If you don't see the sidebar in Data Manager, just click Products in the header and it will be right below where you clicked Purchase Subscription. On this page, download the FMS Data Manager for your operating system. They support both Windows and Mac. All right, so as you can see here, I have all of the add-ons that I have that use the Navigraph data, but if yours don't show up, you may need to click refresh. If it still does not show up, you might need to map them manually. You can click scan, and what it's gonna do is then scan your entire computer for um, the appropriate folders that would use the Navigraph data, and this takes just a minute to do so. All right, so you can see that these were captured automatically. What you're gonna be doing if you need to manually map this is put it in your X-Plane 11 folder and then into your custom data folder. And this is where all of your Navigraph information is stored. So you'll just select that folder and that's where that needs to go. It's gonna ask you if you wanna save the changes. We're gonna click save. And now it's gonna tell me um, that it needs to update these files. We're just going to go ahead and update Pilot ATC and Explain because I changed the location of the world traffic files. Uh, so those are not there. So you can click update right here or you can actually click update on these. But with having multiple selected, just clicking update will download and install the latest Navigraph information. All right, and as you can see, once that has completed, it now says that we are on 1908 revision one, which is the latest version of the Navigraph data. And as you can see, the current cycle up here is also 1908. So now we're done with Navigraph. So we're gonna go ahead and open up X-Plane. We'll just load into a flight just so you guys can see. All right, now we're loaded up in the Zebo 737. And if you take a look at the FMC, you no longer see nav data out of date. And this will work with um, just about any of the planes, any of the default planes or add-ons you have. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I also try to do some live streams every once in a while. Until next time, this is Josh, the Limitless Pilot.